guys, you're not gonna believe it. The manifold came in and we're ready to go. However, this giveaway truck behind us here, the giveaway ends in just a couple of hours here, so I'm filming this video the morning of the day this giveaway ends. So this giveaway ends today, May 3rd. So if you wanna get in on this truck, you've got to get in on it right now. This is your last chance. You could pause the video, go enter, come back, just to make sure you don't miss out on any of the products you wanna grab to get entries. Listen, not as many people enter to win these giveaways as you think. I think people look at like our subscribers and go, oh, 158,000, that must be how many people enter. No, oh, half of those people must enter, no. Everybody who watches his videos, you know, if his videos get five, five to 10,000 or 15,000 views or whatever, that must be how many people are entering. Not even close. So you just have to realize this. I can't give you a specific number, but let's just say it's probably dramatically less than you think the amount of people are that are entering. So all I'm going to say is get those entries in, place those orders, because it is way more likely than you think that you could be the winner of this truck with five grand but you're not gonna know unless you get those orders in and somebody's gonna get the call and then you're gonna have to be the guy watching going, man, that could have been me, shoot. I really like that truck too. Don't be that guy, don't have regrets. So anyways, let's get into this right now. So here's the new manifold. It's a DPS manifold for the truck. Oh man, hopefully this, hopefully this all goes together well. It is already pre-tapped for the gauges that we gotta put in the truck, which the gauges do have to go in the truck as well before it ships out to one of you guys, but the gauges don't have to go in the truck today to at least get the compounds on, but it is already drilled for a gauge setup. Now, typically you would want to have this right here, but you know, for what we're going to be doing, we'll probably just end up using the hole that's already there since it's already pre-tapped. The exhaust temperature difference from here to here is probably not going to be that drastic since I do have an intake running to the back portion of the intake manifold side anyhow versus typically your air going in is right over here and the reason they usually put your gauge back to about this area on the opposite side you know by the exhaust side is because usually you have the colder air running up here and then you've got the last three cylinders that aren't getting as much cool airflow but the whole point of this is to send more air directly back and forcing it back that way more so than it is even up here to distribute it better that way you get more even cooling so all that being said though this is the manifold that i went with it was 450 dollars but i like the kit because it comes with these studs to put the stud kit into the block of course where we pulled out those old manifold bolts and then you can actually put your small turbo on this and whatever else you have to and then hang it in on those studs and it can hold that weight as soon as you line it up and then you just have to thread the nuts on which is just gonna be so much easier than, you know, trying to reuse those old manifold bolts and trying to hold the turbo and the manifold and thread the bolts and just a pain in the butt. That's how you get cross threading, damaging threads, all kinds of stuff. It's just a pain in the butt and it sucks and it'll take 10 times longer doing it that way. So I'm super excited to get this kit in and get going on this. Now, I'm gonna say I apologize if I don't do too much information distributing of this video of this kit. Pushers kits are freaking amazing, okay? And there's other options. I, be I believe with their kits, you can opt for a manifold if you wanna get a manifold with the kit that they produce. I think you can opt for a manifold to ship out with it and all kinds of accessories if you really want to. I didn't option for that because I was like, ah, I don't really wanna pay the extra money for the manifold. But in this case, I ended up doing it anyway, so I could have just given Pusher my money instead. So just think about that. It's not always saving money if you're trying to use some of the old crusty stuff because a lot of times it just ends up not working anyways and then it sucks. So we're gonna get to working on this, uh, but like I said, I'm not gonna be talking a lot throughout this video. I'm pretty much just gonna get time lapse on and get to freaking working on this truck and pretty much not saying anything until either A, we run into something catastrophic and have to stop for the day which I see highly unlikely now that everything's out and we're only installing the new parts, or B, we just can't get the kit finished and it's like 8 p.m. and I gotta get this video up to you guys to let you know that it's the last day of the giveaway, but either way, we're gonna work our hardest to get this thing done for you guys today.
guys, I am uh, more out. Anyways, we did not get the compounds installed. It is still it is still daylight. It's about seven o'clock though. I need to edit this video and get it up to you guys. Hopefully, hopefully by 9 p.m. tonight. I don't know how likely that is, but I'm gonna try. So let me show you what we did get done. This, you know, like just when you think you've got it figured out, you just don't. And I'm gonna admit that. And like I've been out here for about six hours. And if everything goes as planned, keywords, as planned, it wouldn't take this long. What was it, this guy in the comments? Oh yeah, okay. I was frustrated working on this truck a, you know, a few days ago and I had a stud snap and he said, us mechanics say, every five minute job is one, bro I think he said one broken bolt away from taking three days. So, I mean, that's, that's pretty true. The thing that I had the most trouble with and I should have documented this because it probably would have been helpful for some people but taking this back plate off right, here's the gasket, this back plate right here, taking this off was easy to take off, but not in the way I was hoping for. So as you can see, I've got a self-tapping, not a self-tapping, I've got a threading bit there. I've got some drill bits that I went and bought, some Milwaukee drill bits, because I didn't want to mess around with any cheap crap. And essentially what I did is drill a small hole, drilled a slightly bigger hole, and had to re-thread three out of the five bolts on this back side here. And why that is? Well, because I want to go take these off. Penetrating oil and everything has been on it for a while. Um, so I go to take these off, and I kid you not, I put the wrench on the heads, and as soon as I pull, snapped off snapped off snapped off like like nothing like no crazy force like i'm guessing i'm guessing maybe four, maybe 40 pounds of force yeah frustrating so it wasn't that hard though to redo everything it was just three trips to the do it best close by which by the way you know who you are if you're watching these videos you guys are the best i can literally call tell them what i need and they can have it waiting at the counter for me it's freaking awesome. Love small town hardware stores. Service like you don't get at any other style of setting it seems like. But anyways, we got these bolts essentially extracted and then I took this thread thing and then, you know, I had to basically drill out the bolts so with those tiny bit, a little bit bigger and then I used that um, a uh, bolt extractor thing. And then I used this threading thing. It's the exact same thread pitch as the bolt that you know, I had to pull out the other two. I took one of them and I matched the threads up and I got the threading bit for that. And then I just ran it down through there to make sure that all the threads were cleaned. Once we got the, the remnants of those um, broken bolts out and everything worked. I mean, I mean, everything tightened right back on, perfectly snug. I mean, I got that thing cranked freaking tight. Nothing stripped, nothing came out. I mean, it, it's just, it worked awesome. I was super, super, pleased at how that turned out. Which on another note, it's got me frustrated that I didn't just do that with this the other day. Yeah, I just don't understand, but I'm probably gonna be able to do that now. Not that I need to because I already got a new manifold. Which brings me to the next part here, and that's showing you what all we did get done. As you can see, the HX35 still sitting over there on the ATV, so that's not in. But like I said, it's already after seven o'clock. I've got to get this video up tonight for you guys to remind you that it is the last chance to enter to win this truck. The giveaway ends at midnight, so. Um, take advantage of it while you can. So essentially here, I got the S471 in place. I got the downpipe installed. I got, um, this is in there, but the bands are loose so that I can maneuver this stuff around, which I made that mistake when I did my last compound turbo kit. I tightened all the bands where I thought they were gonna need to be. Then I had to go and loosen all the bands. So uh, lesson learned, just leave them slightly loose until everything's done. We did get the oil feed line installed though bracket down there mounted to the bell housing in the engine mount. Um, that's all bolted in tight. Uh, oil drain tube on the big turbo. Feed line on the big turbo, as you can see. Sorry, right there, super bright. Uh, feed line on the big turbo installed. Now I gotta cover all this stuff up with some shop towels and rags and stuff so that nothing gets in there, but that's where we had to leave it for tonight. I did get this manifold installed, which looks awesome. So it just did not happen today, guys. Uh, could it be all done if I like worked on this until like 
mm, I want to say 10, 30, 11 o'clock at night, realistically, because nothing's as fast as you think. You would think, looking at that, you're like, oh, all you got to do is put the small turbo in, then the piping kit. It's easy. Well, that right there, after recalculating my time, even if everything goes perfect, is going to be another two hours, guaranteed. So that's just, you know, with my skill level, and what I've, what I've got in terms of tools and stuff, it's gonna take a long time still. Tomorrow, I'm gonna say this again, tomorrow we'll have this done. No, but seriously, I am hoping that tomorrow I can get out here bright and early now that I've got everything I need. I don't have to start at 10 a.m. I can start at like 7 a.m. Get everything done on this truck tomorrow is my goal. And I wanna be able to start it up and take it down the road tomorrow. Stay tuned everybody. That's where I've got to leave it at for today. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video that I did get for you. I know it wasn't what we were hoping for, but I got done what I could given the circumstances. And right when I stopped filming, I said, if anything catastrophic happens and takes up a bunch of time, we won't be able to get it done, but we should be fine. Well, I spoke too soon. That's usually how it goes. I shouldn't have done that. I'm always trying to be more optimistic than maybe you should be working on uh, vehicles, older vehicles more, more particularly. But anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Do not forget that if you want to enter to win this truck plus five grand, yes, it will be done. We're not going to ship the truck out to you guys. Not done. It'll be completely buttoned up and running flawlessly. Want to get loaded up on that trailer for one of you guys. Unless you guys decide to come out here and hang out with us for a couple hours. I mean, that's you can do that too. Grab those entries while you can. Last few moments to get in on the giveaway. All you got to do is buy anything on the store. And as soon as you check out, you're automatically entered to win. We've got new socks and stuff up on there too as well. They're actually pretty sweet. One's, uh, one pair of the socks that Reagan put on the store, uh, the left foot says clutch, the right foot says throttle. It's it's pretty cool. I think it's, uh, or one says clutch, one says fuel, or one says clutch, one says throttle. I, I don't remember what it said. She just showed it to me a couple minutes ago and said she put it on, but it's pretty cool. It's kind of funny. So if you want to go check that stuff out, please do. Thank you guys so much. Love you. I will catch you in the next video. Peace.